This is what happens when you combine a soybean plant with a robot. You get a soybot. Developed by researchers at Purdue University, they're on-the-go microgardens that help indoor plants seek out light. They are equipped with two sensors um, that measure light conditions and they move continually in the direction of the brighter light. The light sensors search and seek out sunlight or LED lights in a room. The soy bots digitally map out their environment and move towards light all on their own, even when you're not home. It's really interesting for me to see how, uh, what happens if plants all of a sudden become mobile and what do the plants tell us about these environments that we inhabit as humans. They're practically self-sufficient with a moisture sensor that indicates when to water the plant. Just turn it on and let it go. They would continue to keep following that direct sunlight. And so they would be happy soy bots and they would sit and they would soak up the sun and hopefully they would grow. Originally designed for an art exhibition, the soy bots could be easily adopted inside any home giving frequent travelers some peace of mind, knowing their plants are taking care of themselves. When these soy bots are not living in a gallery space, they are sometimes in our home, um, and we do have sunlight in our home, and we don't usually have them running full time in there, but they, they do become a part of your space. The creators use soybean plants, but almost any plant will work. It's a modified Roomba robot made into a mobile potted plant bringing nature and technology together for a mobile garden experience. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media, powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.